So I sent this dog hammock to try out and show you how it works. So it comes in this handy bag here. It just pulls out the bag. It's a fairly tight fit in the bag, so not sure if it will go back in once you get it out. All right, so here's the hammock. Comes with this lovely dog mat. Dog's checking it out. Here's the hammock itself. Nice thing about this hammock is it does have a stiff board bottom, so it helps give them stability in the car. Oh, and then it has this net as well. All right, so a few things are included, some straps, buckles, things like that. So let's open the car up and show you how to install it. Right, so put it into the car. So the mesh is where the pass-through goes. Kind of lift it up in. And then just kind of pop it into place there. And then these straps go around the headrests. Just like that. And these do the same thing on the other side. And then you could cinch them up tighter. And then this kind of comes out here and then you could run a strap up if you want to keep your dog off the door. I actually don't like to use those personally. I'm gonna like, strap up the other side. So this is the same thing. Just goes around the headrest in the back. And then this goes here. And the nice thing about this model versus our models is that this has this pass-through mesh and a little pocket. So what I usually do with the sides is I just fold them under. Because for me, I'm not worried about the dog getting on the door. They're well-trained. Um, but overall, this is a really nice setup because you have this nice sturdy floor. So it makes a much wider area than most hammocks, which just kind of give this curve. So let's try it out with the dog. All right, come here. Hop on up. Perfect, so that's how it works. So the other thing you could do if you don't want the slippery material, come on out, come. This comes with a dog pad. There's actually two of them, which is really nice. So this is the like non-slip back. So because there are two, you could wash one, have one in the car. Come here. Well, if she flies like that, she's going to slide around. Come here. But there you go. He's obviously very excited, but those are what the pads would be for if your dog doesn't fly into the car. But overall, it gives a lot more space and can step here. Hey, come here. <laughs> she's not cooperating right now. But anyway, that's... That is the setup. So it's a really nice solution if you're looking for a really great dog hammock. And we've tried out a lot of them, and this is by far the best.